<laughs> Good, bad, not really sure. Thank you for joining me today on my way in adventure. It's been another crazy week. So here we are. So I struggled last week. It was the struggle bus. I actually kind of pulled it together, but I still never had it 100% in line. And I'm ashamed of that. I really honestly am totally ashamed of the fact that I could not get my willpower together. I wanted it together so bad. In fact, I sat there and be like, how can I get my willpower back? What can I do to have willpower and to be motivated? I actually thought about a bunch of different things. I thought about how I was so motivated when I actually was going to Weight Watchers and how those Weight Watcher meetings were just like amazing for me. I thought about challenges and how those joining challenges, weight loss challenges were really good for me. And I've been trying to figure out what to do. I've got a plan going forward. I'm actually doing my points challenge and I'm actually excited about it. So I actually have a reward system in place for me. If I actually meet a certain amount of points this month, I'm going to give myself a reward. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. I did have to make a little change with my water. So with my own personal challenge, I had to change up my water a little bit. I have been drinking out of a Yeti, and it's fabulous because it keeps my water cold. It doesn't leave condensation rings. It is fabulous. But it's hard to judge how much water I've drank. Have I drank 10 ounces, 5 ounces, whatever. So I actually went back to this one, which I like. It actually talks to you and shows you how much you need to drink and where you should be at one point. And on the back, for the purposes of my own mini challenge, it actually has the ounce marks. So I can judge how many ounces I'm drinking. The reason I don't use this more often is because it is not insulated. I do have ice in there to keep it cold, but it is going to leave condensation rings everywhere I go. So I have to be very careful about putting it on something when I sit at my desk or whatever. And it does get warm quicker. I would love to have the mug that I had years ago. It had the marks, it was clear, but it had the marks, but it was also double walled, so it was insulated. It was fabulous, I've never found another one like it. If you know of one, let me know in the comments. Just because I've started this new challenge doesn't mean that the Project 50 is off the table yet. I still have about 19, 20 days from this point where I actually still am working on that Project 50 challenge. I did have to make a change though. So here I am outside. It's a little chilly and I'm walking Zoe. It's in the morning before work. And I'm gonna talk about the Project 50 today because I have actually been really struggling with this skills. I decided that my skill was going to be knitting and I was gonna to learn to knit. And I did really good for the first couple weeks, but I hated every second of it. And I actually pondered, I'm like, should I continue? Because maybe I'll learn to like it. Or should I just give up and say, mm, yeah, not happening. And I've been fighting it. I've been really fighting it because I'm just like, this is not cool. I'm not enjoying any second of it and I dread and it just sits there. So yesterday I gave up the fight and I actually went ahead and I switched back over to quilting. It's not a new skill, but I switched back over to something that I'm enjoying. And it was amazing how excited I was to actually pull out my quilting stuff, hand quilting stuff. And it was crazy to see how the time just flew by. An hour went by and I'm like, oh my word. I mean, the knitting, I would do five minutes and I'm like, I'm dying. So I learned a valuable lesson. Just because there is a challenge doesn't mean I have to finish it. I have to listen to what my brain tells me. So I am actually on this challenge on the Project 50. I'm just changing it right now to, instead of learning a new skill, working on one of my current skills. Yeah, the, the skill thing was just not going. Maybe I needed to find a better skill that I wouldn't have, but I have actually just defaulted to working on quilting and crafts, quilting in particular. 
And I'm actually excited about it again. I'm excited about doing it. So I'm happy with it. It's called adjusting and changing so that your life actually works. So I'm good with that. We're still on target with everything. I've missed a couple days with my eating because it's been kind of crazy. But other than that, I'm doing really good with the Project 50 challenge. So I'm really happy with that. So the weight. This week I didn't do any better. And in, and in fact, that maintained that I had last week that I wondered how I managed to maintain. Yeah, I actually did gain a pound this week. Am I okay with it? Absolutely not because who wants to gain? But I am looking at the bright side. I still lost two pounds for the month of March. I would have liked it to be more. I would have really liked it to be more. But two pounds is still equals up to be 24 pounds in the year. So, you know, it still adds up. Every drop in the bucket means something. I have my plan going forward though. So I'm thinking that April is gonna be a fantastic month. Um, still exercising every day, everything is good. I have a plan going forward. I'm going to stomp this weight this month. No excuses. I'm the Unabomber. Welcome to the Unabomber section. Welcome to the Unabomber section of this video.